we're going to be getting into creating grading styles. We're still in grading dash one. And then this exercise will continue from creating grading criteria. We'll create a new grading style and we're going to be going into the tool space once again. We'll expand the grading styles. We're going to create a brand new one by right clicking on grading styles, then select new. We're going to type in ditch for the name and you can put in a description if you if you want to we're going to hold off on that click the display tab and we're going to change the color of the daylight line where's the daylight line right here we're going to change the color we're going to change this to a red then click ok slope patterns we need to change that slope patterns oops not this one this one we're going to click this checkbox and we're going to leave it on basic. There's different uh, slope pattern styles that we've got going on here. Actually, we're going to copy the current selection. We'll go into this drop down, copy basic, then we're going to call this ditch slope. Then we'll go into the layout tab and it really gets into some of the cool parts right here with the different components. You can see a little preview right here of what that's going to look like. In the component field, select component 2. This parameter table displays values for component 2. This is the second slope pattern component from the left side in this case. It's a long line with a tapered... Yeah, you can basically see the, the long line. We've got a, a tapered line over here. In the slope line section, we want to focus in on that symbol type. Here it is. Tapered lines. We're going to select none. See what happened right there? Let's change this again. What was it on? Tapered lines? I'm going to switch that back to none. We'll click OK. OK, so now rather than the slope pattern being on basic now, it's got that modified slope pattern now that we just put in, which is going to be on ditch slope. And that's going to be associated with our, our grading style for our, for our ditch grading style and click OK. OK, in the tool space on the settings tab, the ditch grading style is added to the grading styles collection. The ditch slope pattern is added to the general multipurpose styles and slope pattern styles collection which you can see right here. So we've got, we just went over grading criteria sets and grading styles. And this is going to be for a ditch, for a ditch. So this changes basically the technical information used in order to create the ditch for the criteria set. This grading style is going to be affecting essentially the look of the ditch 